Hi Karina, thank you so much for joining us today to share your experiences in STEM and entrepreneurship. Our mission at Girl Tech Boss is to, is to inspire the next generation of women to pursue their passions in these fields. Could you start by just introducing yourself and your background? I do a lot of tech startups that are focused on social impact. So one of the things that I'm doing right now is starting a clothing line called Alpha, which wow. aims to empower women in STEM and leadership. And uh, we do that by focusing on confidence and trying to make women feel confident, women and young girls feel confident about engineering and about being in engineering through something as feminine as clothing and fashion. Um, that's one of the things that I'm doing. Um, in addition to that, I'm also uh, working on an app that makes 3D printing accessible to low-income schools just because I'm obsessed with 3D printing and building and making. So um, I'm doing that, and in between all that, I have a few side hustles here and there where I'm either coaching high school students or I am speaking or writing my stories and kind of doing everything in between trying, learning, failing. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's me. Mm -hmm. That's totally awesome. I mean, being so passionate at such a young age, uh, that kind of leads me to my next question about, you know, being recently in high school, um, you know, what were some of the things like activities, people, clubs that kind of sparked this interest in you to follow STEM and entrepreneurship? Yeah, um, it's actually a great question that you asked. Um, I actually started my journey in tech and engineering because uh, in my freshman year of high school, we were all, all the freshmen were mandated to take um, a class in 3D printing. And for me, just seeing the fact that something could come out of nothing and you could kind of create something literally from your like brain and mm -hmm. kind of see it come to life yeah. was just something so amazing to me and made me feel like I had the power to create literally anything and everything. And I think that's really kind of the core of technology and tech and engineering, just the ability to create something out of nothing and solve problems and do great things, which is really why I started my whole journey in tech and STEM. And um, since finding my passion um, in engineering, I've really tried to do a lot of clubs in school. Um, I was involved in several research uh, programs and I was involved in several tech clubs where I kind of learned robotics and I also did Girls Who Code and a few things here and there. But um, as I got older in high school, I really started moving towards doing my own thing just because I've always valued applying what I've learned. And I feel like for first for my first few years of high school, I was doing a lot of the learning. And then for my last two years of high school, I wanted to do a lot more of the application and learn through actually building and making use of my skills. Yeah. So you yeah. talked like about your interest in engineering and like making. So how did this yeah. interest lead you to pursue entrepreneurship? Yeah, um, so funny enough, as a kid, I was always obsessed with the whole idea of being able to do something that's my own and being able to make money. For me, I know this might sound super superficial, but um, for me, being of an immigrant background, being financially stable is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So having the opportunity to kind of like guide my own path and create a job for myself rather than just do something that somebody else tells me instead doing what I want to do and make money off of that, which to me essentially is what entrepreneurship means, having the freedom to pursue your own dreams and passions into businesses and ideas that can do good things. So um, just for me, engineering has always been part of entrepreneurship. To me, they go hand in hand. And as much as I value engineering, the reason why I value it so much is because of how applicable it is to entrepreneurship and just how much entrepreneurship can benefit from engineering. So that's, that's kind of why I always loved entrepreneurship and engineering. And it just seemed like the perfect segue for me to do what I want, which is solve problems and create cool businesses and things that I think are fun and solve problems. 
Oh, it's really cool. I think that it's totally amazing. Going back to what you were saying about like your clothing line, honing in on like the confidence aspect. Um, yeah. And basically being a woman in STEM and business, particularly entrepreneurship, two things that are fairly male dominated. You know, what's your favorite yeah. thing about being a woman in these two fields? This is something that really hits home for me. And this is exactly why I started Alpha. Um, I recently wrote an article about my whole journey in STEM. And um, really for me, being in, in STEM and engineering for four years, and like you said, entrepreneurship and tech are both very male dominated and choosing to be in both of those is like the worst of the two, mm -hmm. the worst yeah. of the three actually, because it's even harder. Um, I've really just, I had a hard time starting off just because I really felt like I didn't belong being a woman. Mm -hmm. But with time and as I matured, I really found power in the fact that I'm a woman and the fact that constantly being pushed down and told that you can't do something really makes you so much stronger mm -hmm. and gives you that extra power and drive to really do greater and better things that any that someone who didn't ever have that pushback could do. Being a woman, especially, and doing this is the most empowering thing ever, mm -hmm. just because of how much people break you down. And I don't know, it, it makes you feel stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, so, yeah. a lot of our audience is, you know, young girls who are aspiring to be STEM entrepreneurs like yourself. So like, what advice would you give these young girls? Now that I'm older, I think that this is this might be this might be applicable to some of the older girls. Um, this is a great STEM movement, and it's very important that women get attention. Um, and I think it's incredibly valuable. But I do think that we as women need to work with men, and we need to know how to work with men too, mm -hmm. because as much as we want to believe that you know it's all about women. Yes, it is all about women. We are very important and we do deserve all the attention that we're getting right now. We also shouldn't be secluding ourselves from um, our second gender and all the other genders out there um, just because it really limits ourselves and our abilities. Um, I think that being able to work with men and learning how to work with men, because believe me, working with a guy is so much different than working with a girl, mm -hmm. uh, is something very, very important. And I encourage all girls to kind of figure that out for themselves and learn that. Um, that's one of the biggest things. And the second biggest thing that I'm personally encountering right now is girl on girl hate. Um, mm -hmm. For some reason, society always pins us up, like, up against each other. And for some reason, we always feel like we have to compete. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's more internal um, at this point, just because of how like society has shaped us. And, you know, it's... It's something really awful, and I think it really hinders us from achieving all that we can. I know for me, as soon as I realized how much, just how much I could benefit by helping others, that will always come back to you. Mm -hmm. And the more you help others, the more they'll help you. And I'm not trying to be very basic in saying that we are stronger as a team, but some things we really are stronger as a team and helping each other could really push us to the next level and instead of just hating on each other and kind of hurting each other's chances we should really be uplifting each other because if you uplift your friend your classmate further down the line she'll be uplifting you and other girls and i think that's what we need more of and i think it would really help us out but uh those are probably my two biggest pieces of advice at this point. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for watching this interview. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Please make sure to go check out Karina's website and her newly launched consultation sessions for high school students in the description below. Just a few of her services include interview prep, application review, goal setting, and personal branding materials. Make sure to take a look to find out more information.